this might be close to the greatest day of our life. That's the AT&T fiber internet. The same guy that hooked up to Jake's house, the same guy that hooked up fiber to Joanne's new house, even though when we call, they keep saying that we're fire fiber is not available here at our house now how listen to me listen to me this is crazy it's available there high speed fiber internet it's also available there as a matter of fact his line runs right up my driveway yet it's not available here when you come to our house this is who you get yeah these are the ones who greet you these are the crew that greet you and make sure that you're safe especially that one right there and then, to make sure you enjoy your experience while you're here, you have this one over here that'll dance for you. Uh, all the babies love to entertain. And right now, they're all so excited to get high-speed internet. All the babies are so excited about high-speed fiber internet. And we are hopeful that this guy can get the job done. And the babies are going to do all they can to let him know that Whatever work he puts in is worth it. And Pablo's gonna make sure he doesn't leave until the job is done correctly. You watch him, Pablo. You watch him. This is an exciting day. Uh, weather is gorgeous. It's not too cold. And I'm getting some work done. I'm doing the final stages of our fencing project there at uh, the house. I, I'm a survivor. And after, after this, I can officially open up that gate in the back and allow Tex to go back and forth. And then we're just gonna have to watch and see what he tries to do with his freedom. But uh, today's exciting. I'm really excited about it. The kid who loaded the lumber is the same guy that did the... Oh, hold on. Give me a second here. The kid that's working to load all of this stuff is using a forklift. He's the same kid that helped last time who ripped his jeans on that barbed wire. And I told him I'm going to throw him in my video. So now it's funny that we have a our newest I'm a Survivor follower is a young man that works here at the McCoy's in Cleveland and his name to fame is him ripping his jeans and almost cutting up his man parts by trying to load barbed wire that's funny to me I'm sorry not no not the not the not the physical pain and the the, the ripping of his jeans but uh you think about how many people make a get on get famous from internet famous from an embarrassing or a, a humiliating moment how many girls do you know have been exposed by sending inappropriate pictures and they've become famous how about the kardashian kim with her nasty video that was leaked uh was it pamela anderson and tommy lee I, i've forgotten exactly man but uh so those would be success stories. <laughs> this kid over here got his pants ripped and almost uh, left him mutilated. <laughs> and it, he said he's been showing off his video to everybody. That is funny. I'm gonna try to find that and stick it in here for whoever did not see it the first time. You gotta work smarter, not harder. This guy says you gotta work smarter, not harder. He says that after he ripped his pants in half and almost took off his man parts. And here he comes over here now. And that's funny to me. Now I'm gonna put him in two videos. You better smile, you're on camera again. Oh yeah. Show off your driving skills. Just don't don't mess up my gate. Yeah, that'd be bad. Let me help. Let me stop just standing here making video and help. I guess if you think about it. A lot of people who get their internet fame do it in different ways. I mean, mine may have been a crying video coming home after the Harvey flood. And 
you think about how that moment even though it was never supposed to be anything more than just what i was going to share with my friends and the family who had not made their way back home yet how it changed all of our lives and then uh And obviously, the even the nasty videos that the the Pamela Lee and the the Kim Kardashian and there's just been a number have changed their lives. Think about the dumb ones though, the people who have had their lives changed for the better from stupid stuff. But I'm just trying to make it, and I'm an island boy. How about that one girl? That, meet me outside. How about that? Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? Yeah, some of the most absurd channels <laughs> get their way from crazy moments. But no, that was just a cute little connection. That guy has like said he's shown that video to everyone, everyone who will watch it, of him carrying that barbed wire uh, and ripping his pants right right there, at, right there below his, his man goods and and me putting that on the video, making sure it was okay with him first, and then of course he goes to watch it, and now he shares that moment with anyone that'll watch it. <laughs> oh, that's that's horrible. That's funny though. What Jake and I are about to do right now may seem like a waste of time, effort, and money until you realize why we're doing what we're doing jake measured wrong so what i told jake was that we need to get us a 12 foot gate here you go this is a 12 foot gate so what that means is we need about a little bit more than 12 feet between these two posts here so jake comes out and measures everything up and i want to show you what jake did hold it nice and tight jake so here's the 12 foot mark I know the tape is a little bit wobbly. All of a sudden, here's the 13 foot mark. And then here's the 14 foot mark. So you're saying, oh Lester, do not give that boy a hard time. Just go buy you a 14 foot gate. They don't make a 14 foot gate. Well, you said a little bit more. I said a little bit more. Well, little I meant bit inches bit. more. I meant inches more. Oh. So what we're gonna have to do is put these two, uh, post these four by fours on the inside of where we already put concrete to squish down a little bit closer to a 12 foot gate all right y'all just sit back and hold on this is going to be fun and we're going to be as safe as we can are you ready I'm gonna tilt you. Going up. More, more tilt. More, more, more. Going up. Tilt. All right, we're gonna drive forward now, okay? Please don't fall. That's good. That one over there is perfect. No, you don't want to go too far. That should, that should overhang a little bit. There you go. Don't you fall off of there. All right, put that level on there. You need to back up? Go ahead, Jake, stick it in the hole and let it flow. There it goes. Man. How long is it? <laughs> Good job. Try to squeeze it all the way down. Oh, yeah. There we go. Dang, I'm filling it up pretty good. That's a, 
That's a really big hole, though. Yeah, some jobs are bigger than others, Jake. But we got the right guy. <laughs> Every last drop. Shake it up. Okay. Sorry I laughed and ruined your moment there, Jake. <laughs> Sorry I laughed and ruined your moment. Oh, oh no. Did you get in your eye? <laughs> oh, no. I sent Jake to the house for more of our little lightweight expanding cement substitute. And I give this kid a hard time. And y'all call me out on it all the time. Y'all know I just joke. I'm an uncle. And uh, that's kind of what uncles are supposed to do, don't y'all think? If you've never had a relationship with your uncle, the fun, loving relationship, that's kind of what uncles in my life have done. Always teased us back and forth and gave us a hard time. My uncle Randy used to babysit us when we were little and he would scare us he'd tell us scary stories he would say that he saw someone a woman running around outside in a white dress and the knife and then he would pretend like he was possessed and he'd run get on one of my mom's dresses and grab a knife and man those kids would scream and holler and then we couldn't run outside because there's already some crazy woman outside so we were we, we were had to decide do we die inside or do we die outside and mom and dad would get home and we would just be crying and crying terrified and we'd tell on uncle randy and my mom and dad would just laugh and they're like that's kind of what uncles are for what's going on here what are you doing you almost run me right over yeah that's what uncles are for y'all even though I love the donkeys, uh, they can get in the way. And what I'm worried about right now is they keep trying to mess with our product. And I'm having to hold this because that uh, one across the top is not screwed down yet. It's bad enough the wind is blowing. I'm trying to hold this in place until the cement dries or hardens. And uh, they are into everything. There we go. The only problem is we forgot our level. We totally forgot our level. All right, that's what we wanted to do right there. Now, obviously, we're on a little bit of an incline here. So when we mount the gate, and we will mount the gate from the concrete side. Concrete, guys, we've if you want an honest product review, this stuff is lightweight, it's easy to use, and it holds solid, but not as solid as concrete. You agree? <laughs> About the back 40? But, oh. we'll, but we only have 38.6 acres. Yeah, we're back 38 .6. So everyone jokes about the back 40, the back 40. You've heard that so many times, the back 40. Cog Hill bought oh, the 40, yeah. the Cog Hill 40. 40 acres is something about 40 acres. But uh, we Google mapped it just because we were curious, and it was like 38.6 acres back here. So Jake wants to make a sign that says, not the back 40, the back 38.6. <laughs> yeah, going to be awesome. <laughs> The back, hey, I'm going to call the video that, Jay. The back 38.6.